Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Ian Fuego here. Marsha Parker. And we're back to do some more trailer reactions for you guys. The first on the docket today is the trailer that dropped about a week ago. This is the first opportunity we've had to actually sit down and react to it. We've none of us have watched waiting. it. Yep, yep. None of us have watched this, right? I have not. No, nope. not. Yeah. But we all have Fresh. seen the first movie, uh, The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. This is the sequel, The Conjuring Two. So uh, I say we just dig right in, guys. Let's what do you do think? It. Yeah, bring right, it, James. Let's Wong. check it out. Do you know when the voice is going to speak? Sometimes. Does it ever say things just to you? That you can only hear? Yes. Does it feel like it's coming from inside of you? More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. What does it say? It said it wants to hurt you. When did it say that? Right now. And the Son and the Holy Spirit. Sweet. Wow. Yeah. I think that's one of its <clears throat> biggest selling points, guys, is that they say it's based on real stuff. I think that's <sighs> something that really gets people even more scared about this type yeah. of thing. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to roll it back to the beginning, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it, all right? So uh, initial reactions, what did you guys think? Yay! <laughs> this, yeah, I agree. I, I'm Pretty I'm, good. Yeah, I had two goose pimply moments in the trailer, uh -huh. um, and... There was one thing that was a quick flash that I'll point out when we get to it here that was that has me really excited for this. It's also, it, it, the thing that I'm talking about harkens back to something that I really liked in the new Poltergeist remake. Mm. Um, Way better than people said. It got slogged by certain critics. It did. I, it did. It. It I, I enjoyed it. Movies. It was good. But it. this looks appropriately wanny, as it were. You yeah. know what I mean? Very wanny, slow, wanny. you know, very methodical. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, very setting up the scares and, and then coming the from unexpected too. Too. Ways, yeah. this places. This voiceover from the little girl scare. I, uh, I honestly thought that was the scariest thing in the whole trailer, at least for me. Yeah. yeah. It was that just that ominousness and and it's great obviously yes it's great to see ed and lorraine warren back right. being featured by uh, vera farmiga and uh, patrick wilson patrick wilson awesome performance mm -hmm. in bone tomahawk recently oh man so. they're 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 both really quality actors yeah. and uh they i don't nice to see james wan back after sitting out <laughs> annabelle absolutely yeah. it, it's kind of an odd way to present his name i <laughs> thought so too I, I honestly if i have any complaints it's that i think the trailer was structured very oddly i kind of agree i, I felt mm. like the middle would have been how they would have ended it but then okay. they kind of yeah. eased it back out. That, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna pause right here because we passed like, it. That whole this is scene what you just mentioned. put a smile yeah. on my face. Okay, I'm sorry, so. but... <laughs> yeah. All the quick flashes of imagery right here. Yeah, it gets right so there. intense. Yeah! Oh, okay. That's what I saw. The shadow... Okay, I'm pointing at you guys. I just blocked your right. view, but I'm pointing yeah. at the shadow guy yeah. clearly because yeah, it's just frozen off, right off there. Just off to the left in the shot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that... that I, I caught that too. If yeah, saw my that's face. like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, this part was very cool camera work. Yeah, this yeah. was really neat. 
this was really neat. I was like, oh. I giggled because I was like, that's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> kind of reminiscent of the first Nightmare on Elm Street. A yeah, bit. it's got a little bit of that to it, but I mean, this is obvious. I don't know that this was a spinning set. If it was, that would be an interesting rig because yeah. you'd have to right. pull the camera back at the yeah. same time, but... But this was great, and yeah. I was, I'm imagining... I just had the smile when I saw this, because I was like, they're all going to flip over, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I'm pi what I'm picturing is in this sh this next shot after the first one flips, yeah. when it first starts to pan across the room, mm -hmm. I'm picturing all the people behind that are, like, timing out their right. turning of the crosses on yeah. the other side of the wall. Oh, man, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, there's, like, yeah. two people, you know, every every person's controlling, like, it's two a little, and it's stuff It's a little like obvious, that, you know? but, I mean... Right. No, yeah. I mean, not even, I just, I, I can't help it trying to make stuff that that's what I picture, so... Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm really and that's, excited. That's, like I said, yeah. a true story from the case files. I'm actually reading one of the books that, the guy that we met at Scarifest gave me a book, and he actually... Oh, you started it? Yeah, he actually did, um... He did a, a case with them. A case with them. This is supposed he, to have yeah. something to do with the original Amityville Horror uh, reports or something, or there was rumors about that, and some bits of that story showing up yeah. here, but if they're in London, didn't that take place in... Oh, no, no. What's supposed to happen is, because at the end of the first Conjuring, they got the call about right. a house in Amityville that they yeah. needed to go check out. Yeah, I thought I remembered that. Um, and in this yeah. one, supposedly, this one's going to start with them coming back from having just finished the uh, Amityville case. Oh, so that okay. will be a tale for another day. Yeah, So they're exactly. not going to tell... Amityville they, they don't have the rights oh. they don't have the rights well there's two other Amityville movies coming out this year for god's sake I know so. but I'm excited about sure. them this movie definitely <laughs> looks cool and yeah. scary I mean if it gets us thinking about other cool horror things that's yeah. a good that says yeah. good about the trailer I'm really oh, excited uh, I I really like the first one so and it looks like they're taking it up another notch in this one just given mm -hmm. the the quality that's put in there, you can tell, definitely tell they put a lot more money into it. Has it received yeah. a rating? Because I know some people got upset when The Conjuring got an R rating because they were like, this is on the level of an Insidious or one of these other PG-13 Yeah, it really kind of was. Things. There and was so, no real blood in it, except no. for the very, like... It there was a little bit of her. When when she, well, when she cut a cough blood up on the sheet. Yeah. yeah. It Underneath. just yeah. makes me wonder if they're going to push for a PG-13 like with stabbed. this or if this is R rated as well, because I'm not sure. Yeah. So, make more money. Juan has proven he can do both. So. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, that's the that's the trailer for uh, or the teaser trailer, I guess is is how they're billing it. Um, I thought all the, the crosses Conjuring were going to fly at her at the end I instead was really... of all the hands instead of the hands. I was like, yeah. all those crosses are going to fling off the wall uh, at her, right? That would have been yeah. Bad. It would be really cool if she got stabbed by one. Like just a different kind of movie. That really would be, cool. yeah, that would, well, that would be an homage to The Exorcist after a fashion, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, there was already a couple touches with her, like the walking. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. The whole so. thing. But yeah, it looks exciting. So, so what do you guys think? Are you excited about it? Let us know in the comments below, okay? Um, and I'm pretty darn sure we're going to make it to the theater to uh, oh, yeah. to see this and do a review uh, rapidly yeah. after we see it. Yeah. So yeah. It's going to be a watershed horror release of the year. So. Absolutely. So Gotta stay happen. tuned for that. Um, but for right now, thanks for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been having Fuego. I'm Marsha Parker. And until the next trailer reaction, remember, stay, stay scared. scared.